Hi everyone. Uh, we welcome you here for Java six days bootcamp day three. We know that you were again eagerly waiting for this fourth video of mine. So let me take you to what we are going to cover here, and let me give you a revision of the previous session what we have covered. So basically, we are going to cover today how to delete the data from database. Uh, that is my SQL using Swings AI. And in earlier session, we have seen how successfully and beautifully we have registered ourselves using Swings UI with my SQL database. So now, as we have seen successfully how we can store the data into database using that UI user interface. Now, what I want is, in case if I want to delete something from the database using that Swings UI, definitely I need, I think I'm going to take a help of the Swings framework. So today we are going to cover it. So our agenda is deleting the data from database using Swings UI. Plus we are going to connect to JFrame form. So let me take you to the path. This is my Eclipse over here. You could see that day three class database one we have already created in the previous session. Now let me take you to the new JFrame form. I'm going to create it with the name of delete underscore uh, day four or what I'll do, I'll write day four, delete database. So this is going to depict, I'm going to delete something from database. So I'm just clicking on finish. I could see that we've successfully created day four delete database Java. What I need to do is I am going to put a label as a header here. I'll just give a name to this label and the background color. Edit, 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 text. I'll write it deleting data from deleting user from admin portal, right? And let me keep this thing in the center. What I'll do, I'll go here, click on foreground color, take blue color, okay, and I'll change the background color as well. This is not the right one. I'll click on background, I'll select this gray and click okay. Great. Now, what I'm going to do again, I'm going to add a label. It is here. We are going to need something, so we require something unique value to be added. So, unique value could be email ID or it should be customer ID. So I have added J label, J text field, and I'm going to add a button as well. So let's see how we are going to change this eleven name. So I'll write it email ID. Enter your email ID, right? And here I just need to remove the name. Perfectly fine. I'll change the name of the button again here. Deleting, deleting user. Great. Done. I'll select these two elements with the help of control. And I'll change the foreground color. Hold down. Yeah. I'll change the ground color. Done. I have given the blue color. Now, if I could just check that is it executing or not, I will click on that file for quickly find it is executing. Very nice. What I required is I'm going to do the coding because I know that this button is not working. So I need to close this pop up, double click on this delete user. You could find that we are into J button action. I'll click here, enter, and I'll start writing the codes. Basically, we are going to call the driver name. So it will be class dot for name. And in this, I will be passing form dot mysql 
डॉट सी जे डॉट जे डी बी सी डॉट ड्राइवर जैसे कॉलिंग ड्राइवर से और ड्राइवर में जे डी बी सी या परफेक्ट आई जस्ट पुट अ सेमी कोलन एंड एज इट शोइंग एरर सो दे माइट से दैट यू नीड करेक्ट और यू नीड टू ऐड दिस ट्राई एंड कैच ब्लॉक सो लेट मी ऐड दिस इन टू ट्राई एंड कैच ब्लॉक what we are going to do we have added it into try and catch so it's, it's better you can just make it default exception so that that default exception will work for every case but otherwise you need to add multiple catches so better we go with this now next is in this uh, class of phone name under it we need to call the connection so i am here calling connection c o n equals to on the driver manager we have already discussed this concept in the previous session oh i'm so sorry it's driver manager so you can from driver manager dot get so we need to call get connection so get connection bracket and here you need to pass j d b c Colon my SQL colon double slash local host, and you need to pass the port number three three zero six. This is my default port number, and now the database name. So I just wanted to show you the database name here. See the database name is day three database, and the table name is day three underscore tab. So we can see that connection from driver, and after putting up this three three zero six, this port number, I am going to put the name of my database. So day three underscore database, and yes, definitely we need to put two other. Elements that is username and password root and here I need to pass password password there is no password so I'm going to put only double quotes and I'll put a semicolon over here so done with that and we could see that the error is coming home so let me see this exactly it's not an error they I want to tell you to add the import file so if you could see the right correct import here. So, okay, if you could not see that, then in that case we need to add manually. So we could not see the right correct import. I'll write here import Java dot SQL dot star. Let me run calling all the functions for SQL. So now there is no error. What we are going to do because we need to not delete it, so we are going to create the object of statement here. Statement. So here I'm creating an object of s statement st equals to. We have created already a connection object con dot create statements. Basically, this is what we are getting the object of statement, and with the help of the statement, I'm going to. Execute the function called it as execute update, and that function in that particular function we can call the delete command so that we can delete the data successfully from the database. So let me just take you to it's up to you uh, if you want to you know delete it. If you want to print something here, you can write in concept also. But I'll take you to st dot execute. Execute update. Here it is. So in this, you need to just pass double quotes and you need to write the command. Delete from. Now we need to pass the table name. So the table name will be d three underscore tab. I have showed you earlier. 
Now we will pass where. My column name, my email ID column name is EM. So I'm passing EM equals to now here. What I need to do is I'm going to pass the elements in single double quote because this is my double quote given here. And I need to pass something into these double quotes. So I have to pass it into uh, you know single double quotes. So what I'll do, I'll write single quotes, double quotes. Concat single quotes, double quotes, and again, uh, you may even learn like this: single quotes, double quote, double quote, single quote. So this is this is basically an opening uh, quotes and the closing quotes for my variable name. So what I'll do, I'll just add a concatenation, and I need to check my variable name. So this is what I need to check: change variable name. So G one we can give. So I'll write. Because I need to get the text. So G1 dot get text. Because they are going to compare condition where G1 dot get text. So whatever we put the value over in in this box, this particular text field, that machine will receive and they're going to compare it and where the condition will match, they will believe that data. So single, double, double, single should be there. And once you do that, so you need to again on that one because you're going to add some string there, right? So uh, it's, it's up to you if you want to. So you can see that this concatenation is compulsory and you could see we need to save it into string delete variable so that let me see is there any other oh i haven't put in the thing okay what we can do is we will print this command or we don't need to do that because we have the request for the execute update and now what i need is i am going to add g option I'll write the option panel so that I'll get a message that you have successfully deleted the entry. Show message dialog. Here I'll write null. And here I'll write the string. I'll pass the string. Delete it. User deleted from admin portal. Wow, now I need to check that either it's working properly or not. And at the end, I'm going to close the connection or close. Now I need to check that this, but before checking it, I need to add the data. Right, so let me run this day, day three class database because I'm going to add something here. So let's say. Tanya t at the rate gmail.com password one two three four five so t at the rate gmail.com and added so we have added successfully now I need to check I need to check in the database So we can see that we have data available in this database, Tanya and tadregimal.com123. Right now I would like to show you. I want to delete it, right? This data with the help of that delete J from J ring form. Now, <clears throat> right click here and run it. 
here what I'm going to do, I'll write t at the rate gmail.com. If it will work, that means this, oh, there is some error communication like failure again. Earlier also you were getting the same error. Uh, let me check the spelling of JDBC my spell local use three zero six. Oh, you could see that the port number is wrong three three zero six. Not a problem. It's good that we are getting error because if we are getting error, we will be able to understand the concept. So here I'm going to write t at the root gmail.com. Wow, user deleted from admin booking. Great. Now, what I require is I'm going to check it in the database. Where it is, here it is. See, I'm refreshing this table. I could see that I have successfully deleted the row from my database. How beautifully we have deleted it. Very easy, very simple. But now you need to understand one thing. What? If I am creating an application, we need to connect these two classes. We need to connect these two classes, right? These two JPEG forms. I'll take you to day three class database. And here, after J option path, I am going to call the other class. How I'm going to call it? Day four underscore delete database. This is my day four delete database class name. So D4 is my object equals to new. And here I have called class name object new and the constructor with this D4 dot set visible. Basically, I'm going to pass the visibility true because once the condition is true, once the data is stored successfully into the database, they directly or they redirect us to the page day three so that we do not have to run those files separately. So I'm passing it through here. I'll save it. And again, I would like to show you the whole project in the running state. Great. So, Preeti, p at the rate gmail.com. Password is one, two, three, four, five. Right. I'll just register it. Once I'll register, I'll click OK. You could find that we have redirected to the next page. Great. Now, as we have already saved the data, so I'll write p at the rate gmail.com delete user user deleted so this is the way we can connect to jframe form beautifully and how uh, we have seen uh, like how beautifully we have you know put in two or three lines of code of uh, the java and seen that how successfully we have you know implemented the concept of deleting the data from data i hope you all have enjoyed this you have learned from it. Now, I would like to take you to uh, the exam phase.